Now, until this week, few people had heard of the name Fenton. But now this West London Labrador is probably the most famous dog in Britain. First came the viral video of an enraged owner trying and failing to call for his dog. Then, almost within hours, the online parodies. This weekend, probing analysis in newspapers and apparently expressions of interest from Hollywood. But amid all of this, and unlike other random online heroes, Fenton and his owner remain very anonymous. Well, I went to Richmond Park, ground zero of the Fenton phenomenon, to try and find him. Richmond Park, West London, on a lazy, hazy Sunday afternoon. The very picture of tranquility. But all is not what it seems. Fenton! Fenton! It's been the internet sensation of the week. If you haven't already seen it, millions have. And in a development that's now become the norm, parodies galore have been dropping into email inboxes all over the world. Mashups inserting this shaggy dog story into rather better known films. So Fenton is now officially the most famous dog in Britain, but despite strenuous efforts to track him down, there's been no sign of him or his owner. I have some sympathy with him. That dog there? Yeah. That's a deer killer. <laughs> what do you do when your dog goes after the deer? There's nothing you can do. They get into a totally different mindset. Nothing you can shout or say will get the dog back. I didn't find it funny. I found it quite sort of sad that the dog was out of control and really? kind of scaring the deer instead. The Royal Parks Constabulary says that if dogs aren't kept under control in parks, their owners can be fined, and the dogs themselves can even be put down. So maybe there's a reason Fenton's lying doggo. Just wondering if you've seen Fenton anywhere? <laughs> yes, on YouTube. <laughs> is this Fenton? Do you know where Fenton is? <laughs> no, we haven't seen him yet. Now it's not just his owner who wants to bring Fenton to heel. Fenton! 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 There's a little black dog over there. That's not Fenton. Fenton! Our main headline tonight. Tributes have been paid to the Welsh football manager, Gary Speed, who has died aged 42. The former Welsh international was found dead at his home in Chester early this morning. Cheshire police said there were no suspicious circumstances. His former teammate Ryan Giggs described him as one of the nicest men in football. Manchester United striker Michael Owen said the news had left him numb. Now you can contact me direct on Twitter at Cathy Newman, or you can read and watch more on the day's news on our website, channel4.com forward slash news. Failing that, we're back tomorrow at midday and seven. And of course, in the week to come, we'll bring you all the news about that crucial autumn statement on Tuesday and the strike on Wednesday. For now, that's Channel 4 News. Good evening.